Hey guys, welcome back to some more Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Secret Chamber. So, we uh, we started the game last time. We denomed. We 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 did okay actually. It took it took a while to hit some of the targets, but we we did it. Um, I've changed. Yes, yes, yes. I've changed the settings. Hopefully, the volumes will be better. However, there will still be some slowdown occasionally. Specifically with regards to the spells, like, at the moment, it seems to be okay, but I'm sure we will come across moments of, yeah, a little bit slow down there. But it'll be fine. We'll, we'll just have to put up with it. And uh, thank you to everyone who commented saying, yeah, mage, look, you can climb on the frickin' chicken hut thing. And uh, with some effort, get up to the top of the rafters and we can get this card. So we're going to do that now. Yay! The wizard card. The wizard card, Harry. So that's pretty sweet. And also, we can get beans. How do we jump down? How am I supposed to get those beans without? Because they disappear. I'm pretty sure they disappear after a while. And as you can see, the slowdown is real in this in this place. The barn of slowdown. In fact, Harry Potter and the barn of slowdown. Let's see if I can get in there quickly and get those beans. Pick them up. Oh, we missed. Okay. 19. 19 beans is alright. We'll, 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 we'll deal with that. Can we hit, the, can we hit the, uh, the washing machine again? No. What about the cones? Oh, yes. I mean... I don't know if they must respawn after a while. Will you bloody hit the bla the the blasted cone? Not that one. The one on the run. Oh, fine, whatever. Okay, we're gonna end the day. I think we've done everything we can. We're gonna have to say goodbye to the burrow. I think we're off to Diagon Alley. So let's uh, end the day. Mrs. Weasley woke them all early the following Wednesday. She took a flower pot off the kitchen mantelpiece and everyone grabbed a handful of flu powder. Harry had never travelled by flu powder before, and when he scattered the powder into the fireplace, he immediately swallowed a lot of hot ash. <coughs> Diagon Alley! It felt as though he was being sucked down a giant plug hole. Harry tried to keep his eyes open, but the whirling made him feel sick. He closed his eyes, wishing it would stop, and then he fell. What an idiot. So, where are we going to end up? It's not going to be Diagon Alley, or Di Diagon Alley. How do you say it? I don't know. I'd get lost as well. And a mouthful of hot ash, eh? If Sean Connery, Con Connery <laughs> if Sean Connery was reading that, it would sound very different. The context would be uh, would be necessary, right? Whoa! Holy shit! This doesn't look like Diagon Alley. No, it, well, I don't know how you could tell. We're inside a building, so it could just be one of the shops on Diagon Alley. You've never been in all of them. Ugh. But anyway, right, we have. We can actually sneak. Look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, is there anything we can do in here? Oh, we can open up cabinets. Get some beans. There's some creepy noises going on, guys. The doorway's locked. Can we open this? Oh, I'm drowning in beans. Can't move the camera though. Okay. Anything in this? No. Uh. Right. Oh, let's just check this uh, big sinister-looking thing out. Oh. It's Lucius and Draco Malfoy. Dun dun dun. Touch nothing, Draco. Ah, Mr. Borgin. Mr. Malfoy, what a pleasure to see you again. The Ministry of Magic is conducting more raids, and 
and I have a few more uh, items like this at home that might embarrass me. Items that you are willing to sell? Correct. I'll expect you tomorrow at the manor to pick them up. Good day. Good day, Mr. Malfoy. What a nice man. Aww. Isn't that nice? Someone you can just hand your, uh, you know, dark art shit to. No questions asked. Ooh. Oh, there's another passage behind there. Oh. Well, we'll uh, we'll check this out. I have no idea what this is. Yes, I know how to sneak. I guess we're trying to stay away from that hand. That cousin it has seen. Not cousin it thing. Thing. Whatever. You know that Adam's found. Oh my Jesus Christ! Uh, maybe if I try creeping up on that thing. I was creeping. All right. Okay. I just wasn't pressing the X button in time. So, have we just learned the most deadly dark art spell in the world? Maybe I could use this to find my way out. Maybe. What have we learned? Avada Kedavra? What have we learned? Lumos? Lights dark areas and reveals hidden panels. I'm sorry, but how is that, like, super restricted illegal stuff that would have to be hidden from the Ministry of Magic? It's just a fucking torch spell. But all right, we'll put it on the old triangle button. We got our second spell, chaps. Woohoo! That hand's not very nice, though. I'm staying away from you. Is there anything else we can do in here? In fact, let's use the spell. Oh wow! My phone is vibrating like a bloody bastard. Oh my god! bunch of emails. Alright, well I'll put that on the floor so it's not going to distract me. Ugh, right, what were we doing? How long does this last? Not very long at all. What is me? Oh, it's a skull! Okay, calm, calm down. Calm down. Ooh. What's that green shit? This is not a good place to be, Harry. Oh, hello. Well, that's pretty suspicious, isn't it? Open. Hmm. Don't think we're in Kansas anymore, Harry. What is this? Uh-oh. Imps. Imps? Uh-oh. You didn't sound very enthusiastic about that. Whoops. Oh, shit. We've dodged bottles, have we? Nice. Oh, it's, it's another bloody mini-boss fight. Already. <laughs> Crazy music to go with it, too. Alright, so far, so easy. Come on, imps. That's it. Oh. Oh. Well, I think that was a very impressive uh, display, don't you, guys? Impressive. <laughs> oh, wow, that is... That is quite a heavily locked door. Anything in here? Can we smash anything? Nope. Ugh. Bloody disgusting. Let's sort them out, shall we? How do we do? Ow! Oh, we've got gauzed on. That's not very nice. I didn't mean to climb up there. Whoops. Ugh. Right, let's stun him. Let's stun the bastards. Pick them up. It's just like the gnomes. Aha! Where, where's... Oh, right in front of the cage. Beautiful. Beautiful. In you go. 
That is our fifth card out of 101. I can't believe how many there are. I have no idea. I mean, this game could be quite long, but someone did comment saying it's not as long as the PS1 version, which I believe is very different, just like the uh, Philosopher's Stone one was. But I've only ever played... Oh, we, need, we do need that. I've only ever played the PS2 version of this game, so that is why I decided to pick it. Because I really can't wait to rediscover this thing. There doesn't seem to be anything else we can do. We can climb on top of the cage. Aha! There's another glass jar. Can we smash that? Beans! Glorious beans, more frickin' skulls! Oh, they make the worst noises. We found a chest. Is this a... Is this a Final Fantasy game? What the hell did we just find? An owl tree! An owl... what? An owl tree? Or an owl treat, Harry? That is quite horrendous. Uh, oh, there's a ladder there, but I don't know how we get to it. Ah, call Hedwig! How the hell's Hedwig gonna find us here? Hedwig! We could be in, like, bloody Bulgaria for all we know. Well, maybe not now that we've seen Lucius and, and Draco. Uh, Ilops Premium Owl Treats, the best thing for a happy, healthy owl. Well, how, how bloody lucky was that, then? We just found one. Here you go. Oh, and he's gonna knock the. Uh... Wait, is Hedwig a girl? Brilliant. Thanks, Hedwig. I can't remember. I really can't remember. But uh, thanks for the ladder. Greatly appreciate it. I have no idea how we're gonna find our way out of this place by going up into the attic. But hey. Desperate times. Can we smash these boxes? No. Alright. Okay. Ooh. Seems to be holes in the floor. Hang on. Oh. And they've disappeared. Oh, are they. Ah, they're going to break as soon as I stand, them on, stand on them, aren't I? Oh, yes. I see your game. Even though it's easier to see them. With a how the hell? All right, this way then. Come on, Harry, get round the boxes. Blue box. All right, easy does it. Easy does it. Is there anything? Oh, there is a chest there. Ho ho. Sweet. I will have a look at this, some of these cards once we've got. Uh, maybe every time we get ten, I'll have a look. Where the hell are we now? Oh, we found a door. Oh, in fact, two doors. That's locked, though. Ooh. Oh, we're outside. Sweet. We made it, Harry. Now the question is, how do we get to Diagon Alley? Ooh, what? God, uh, Harry's got such an, an expansive move set. He can crawl through things, he can sneak, he can wall hug. Can you go in there? So, wow, there is a bloody chest. How the hell do you get that? Nintendo! Hmm. I have no idea. Nintendo! Maybe. Maybe Lumos will show the way. Can we climb the pipe? <laughs> no. That looks so suspicious to me, but I guess we can't do anything with it. Unless there's another way round to it. Well, so far, the game seems to be running alright. We've not had too much slowdown at all. Um. 
Oh, yeah, Nocturne Alley. We've, uh, obviously heard of this place in the last game when we tried to leave, uh, you know, when we were going to the bank and I didn't want to do the bank because the bank sucked. I hope we don't have to do it in this game. I really can't That's remember. Locked. Oh, it's locked. Ah, wait a minute. I'm just seeing something. Oh. There's a switch behind that box. Oh my god, we can pull boxes! No, I didn't want to push it back. Press that switch. Bloody hell. Look at that. Well done, Harry. Well done, my boy. Let's go see what's inside this chest. Possibly a key. It's got a very nice, creepy atmosphere so far, actually. Well, this part of the game, anyway. The burrow didn't, but, you know. Another card? Oh, yes. Alright. Push it real good. Very elaborate security measures to keep people out of that shop, but I suppose if there is a bunch of dangerous shit in there, you don't really want anyone waltzing in. Although, is it, um, what's it, is it, oh, what's his name, Jason Isaacs? The guy that played, uh, Lucius Malfoy? He was one of my favourite characters in the films. I thought the casting was perfect for him. I believe he's in the new Star Trek at the moment, isn't he? Very underrated actor, I think. If, I'm, if I've got his name correct, I might be wrong. I can't remember. But he does play a good baddie. If that makes sense. A good baddie? Yeah. Right. Still on Nocturne Alley, then. How do we get out of this dangerous and scary place? Can we actually go... Alright. Moribund's is closed. I have no idea what these places sell. The Spiny Serpent is closed. Borgen and Burks, yeah, I do remember that. Obviously, that is where we've just been. Can I smash any of these? Smash these, uh... Working folks... Pottery? No. Wizarding supplies? Well, that doesn't sound too nasty. Random... Is that scrolls or flowers? Flowers? Oh! Hurry. It's... it's our future wife! We hoped you'd only gone one fat place too far. I was frantic with worry. What's wrong, Ginny? You don't look very happy. The flu powder went wrong, and I dropped all my things in the fireplace as I passed. Oh, God. Would you like me to go and look for them? That's so kind of you, Harry. But I think you'll need to get your things first. What was on your school list? A copy of the standard book of spells, Grade 2, from Flourish and Blots, and a new potion bar from Mole Peppers. Well, let's all go to Flourish and Blots then. Oh, and you might need this. It fell into the hearth when you used the flu powder. A silver sickle! A silver sickle! <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Come on, Harry. Let's go to Flourish and Blots. Yeah, so they were concerned, but not concerned enough to actually go look for me. That's alright. I'm not family, technically, so, you know, I can understand. Let's smash any of those things. Ooh. Come on, there's gotta be something in one of those. You shitting me? Really? There's nothing? Fine. Yeah, this place looks a little bit <laughs> better than the last time we came here. Oh, Gringotts. Oh, you bastard of a place, you. Can we actually go in there? Oh, it's closed right now. Thank God. Thank the Christ. I just want to see what's this way a sec. Probably nothing. You buy your quills there. Well, there's a quill. There's a there's a way. Or oh, some something. No, nothing in those barrels. Right then, so, let's uh, go to Flourishing Blots, was it? 
The magical minot. We've been in there. That's uh, where we had to feed the bastard owl. That's uh, more peppers of apothecary. I can't. I hate that word. Um, we'll go in there soon. What the hell is making that noise? Oh, we can actually talk to these fine magical folk. I knew your father, you know. A fine wizard and a genuine loss. <laughs> you, you started that sentence and then you fucked off as quickly as you possibly could. Look, he's running. All right. Well, there's, uh, there's Molly and Ginny. I think Ari's dad was a bit of a dick, actually. I, I mean, is it just me, or...? I don't know. Ice cream parlor? Oh, Quidditch supplies? Fuck that shit. I really hope Quidditch is better in this game. Another silver sickle! Oh, wait. Hang on, how do we get that thing? Can't smash those. How do we get over there? Harry, what do we do? That did nothing. How the bloody hell do we get that sickle? Maybe we need to learn a different spell to destroy those things. Maybe. Unless we can climb up there. Nope. Oh! Hey! This is Fred and George's future establishment. We can actually go in there. I wonder if there's uh, some side stuff to do. Oh, look. Good, Potter. This is Gamble and James, the Wizarding Joke Shop. Yeah, and uh, I'm pretty certain you guys have spent far too much time in this place. Just saying. Although I must admit, reading about this place in the books was always one of my favourite parts. Wait a minute, is that... Oh, no, I, didn't. I thought I saw a card then, but no. Oh, we can hit the pumpkins. Nintendo. For no reason. Can we open any of this shit? Oh, there's another measure there. Let's chat to this guy. How much are stink pellets? Four sickles for a pack of ten. <laughs> Four sickles for a pack of ten, mate. You want you want some uh What was it again? How much are stink pellets? Stink pellets. Four sickles for a pack of ten. Four sickles for a pack of ten, mate. Could do you a good deal on some on some speakers. But you'll need to know how to cast second year spells to really make it very Yeah, yeah. We've been told that before. Is that a thing we can do? That, it looks like a little hatch. Probably really safe firing flipendos at obvious uh, fireworks. Really good stuff. There's nothing else we can do in here. You're welcome to try the magical measure, but you'll need to know how to cast second year spells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be back. So there was nothing we could do there. I just wanted to have a look, though. Might as well go, uh... Go meet up with Molly and Ginny. Hello. If you get your second year spell, though, you'll be able to cast much more powerful spells. Good, because that's what I bloody need. I'm blat I'm obviously trying to talk to your mother. Go in and get your spell book, Harry. Okay. So you're not gonna actually go in with me. That's fine. What about you? Did you know that Guild War Lockhart's favourite colour is lilac, and that his secret ambition is to rid the world of evil and market his own range of hair care products? Fantastic. Sounds like a great guy. Amazing. Everyone talks to me and then fucks off. Right, let's let's stop pissing around here. Let's get our magic back. Let's get that second year book. Please don't be chase. I I don't want to have to chase any more peacocks. I hope this no. There's probably some mini game to it though, unless we just buy it. I'd like to buy that, please. The standard book of spells, grade two, by Miranda Goshhawk. Ah, now that would be one sickle. Ah. Oh. As easy as that, really. 
Oh, by Jove, I have one sickle. With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Sweet. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand and cast it when the spell is ready. But be careful. Don't overpower your spells or you could end up in a spot of trouble. Really? Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Thanks, Guy. So, I mean... I guess we've just unlocked... Whoops. I mean to do that. So we still don't actually have any more spells, but we've probably got a more powerful flippendo. Can I please leave this screen? Thank you. Should we give it a go? Can we smash anything in here? Oh, we can actually check the bookshelves. No way. Oh, gonna get tons of beans in here, mate. Yes! Gotta get those beans. I've no idea what Fred and George are gonna give me for them, but... Oh, come on. I must say, the beans are kinda hard to pick up sometimes, though. You think you're right on top of them, and then... Another Bertie Bot's bean! Another Bertie Bot's bean! Bloody hell! This, this is a cool, cosy little shop, though. I think Another I'd enjoy hanging out here. A bee. A bee. Who the hell's hiding all these beans in these books, though? Another bee. By Jove. Nothing? Okay. What about the other side at place? Harry, will you stop getting stuck on every single piece of furniture? Another every flavor bean. <laughs> Did you hear the dude cough then? <laughs> Come on, find something. No. <laughs> really? Come on, guys. There we go. Nice bogey flavored. Or if you're American, a booger flavored thing. Anyone ever play bogeys? You gotta shout the word bogeys louder and louder. In a public place. Yeah, it's really, it's a really shit game. But it, it's something you do as a kid. For some reason. Right, I can't find any more beans in here. Let's, uh... Let's leave. What about the clock? Oh, it's gone. Oh, sh holy shit! No, no kidding! Yeah, didn't charge that up at all and it still hurt me. Ooh. Right, let's go test this out on some of those bloody barrels and get our money. Well, it's not our money, but it, it, it'll soon be our money. Find his keepers. Strange that no one's asked to pick it up themselves, but... Maybe sickles aren't really that much? Well, Harry, did you get your book? Yes, Mrs. Weasley. I can't wait to try out what I've learned. Where did you lose your things, Ginny? I think I dropped my brass scales when I passed the fireplace in the magical menagerie. My new quill definitely fell into the back of Gamble and Japes. And I'm sure I saw Hagrid when I lost my speller tape. Oh. So I think that must be in the leaky cauldron. Speller tape. <laughs> the magical menagerie, Gamble and Japes, and the leaky cauldron. Gossip. Oh. I really appreciate this, Harry. It is so kind of you to do this for Ginny. Yes, yeah, Harry. well. Thanks so much. It'll do me some good later down the line. Bet you can smash those barrels over there. You goddamn right I'm gonna smash those barrels. You don't need to tell me to do that. I'm on the case. Bosh. Oh, I still can't get I still can't fit through that gap, really. Oh, it goes all purple and then red. It's awesome. The silver sickle! Nice. Vandalism, guys, it's the best. 
Right, let's go smash those other barrels we saw before. Over this way. Eugenie's thing's gonna wait. Oh yeah, rolling in the dough. I want to get some stink pellets. That is really loud. The sound of the coins hitting the floor is incredibly loud for some reason. Oh, we're rolling in the dough. So we could actually afford to go get some stink pellets. Do 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 do. Gotta smash these things. Gotta be done. There's bound to be some goodies in here. Holy sickle. shit. Let's Is every single one of those barrels gonna have a coin in it? A silver sickle. Let's oh no, maybe not. Oh, come on, guys. Give me more sickles. God damn it. Oh well. I mean, I can't really be too greedy. What is that in there? Something probably terrifying. Right. So, we need to get something for ourselves from this shop, don't we? Let's go sort Ginny stuff out first. I don't want to accidentally progress the story without doing that, but I, it might just be like part of the main quest anyway. I don't know. Let's uh, let's just check our tasks. So yeah, we're gonna find Ginny's scales, buy the potion vial from uh, Mole Pepper's apothecary. Uh, apothecary. <laughs> That's not how you say that, but apothecary. I hate that word. It's so difficult to say. Right. Cool. Yeah. this place. Mm, can't go in there. Actually, I'm going to go quickly buy the stink pellets. That's what we're going to do. Because a, a reasonably responsible wizard would definitely spend money on practical joke stink pellets first before buying or checking that he can afford his uh, school supplies. Do it's just... Quill was definitely in here. Oh shit, really? Is it? Uh, I suppose we can do the measure thing now though as well. How much are stink pellets? Four sickles for a bag of Four sickles for a bag of ten, mate. Can you do me a deal? There we go. So you have now uh, acquired some stink pellets. These can be equipped just as spells can be. Throw a stink pellet, press the uh, appropriate button. Apart from being great fun, stink pellets can be used to stun small magical creatures. Or to get you out of a sticky situation with prefects. Ooh, we're going to be running from some prefects. Some stink pellets. Yeah. Harry's voiceover is amazing in this game. It truly is. Inside a magical measurer, you'll need to cast a perfect flippendo spell. Ah. Without killing ourselves. All right. Oh wow! First try. Sweet. Give me a card in here, I can sense it. Oh. Oh, no, that's, that's the quill. Alright. This place could do with a bit of a clean. Oh, can we... Do we not have to charge it up for the barrels? Oh, we do, slightly. Yeah, we got the quill, but I kind of want the money more. <laughs> Ginny's Quill! Why does he have to shout out everything that he finds? Gotta smash everything. Said smash everything, Harry. Come on. Even though there was fuck all in there, that's locked. Cool. Cheers, pal. Right. Uh, do you have anything else to say, guys? Stink pants. Hey, Potter. Yeah. An excellent purchase. 
You think so? Cool. Can't wait to try them out. In fact, can I try them out on you? It'd probably be a waste, actually. Throw to create a burst of stinking green smoke. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry, guys. I thought you'd appreciate it, though. Taste of your own bloody medicine, I'm sure. Totally worth it. No regrets. No regrets. <sighs> we still got quite a bit of money as well, so uh, I wonder what else we can buy. Uh, the leaky cauldron's this way, I'm sure. Yeah, let's go see Hagrid. Let's see how different he looks from uh, <laughs> from the last game. Oh, there he is. Let's get our booze on. I'll have uh, a butter beer, please. Oh, Mr. Potter, delighted to see you again. Make yourself at home and have a good look around. The cellar is full of surprises. I don't think I want to go down to your cellar to, for a surprise of any kind, sir. Although if there's money down there, or cards, or beans, then, uh, then maybe I do. Oh no! What kind of a sick contraption is this? We didn't even get the coin! Dude! I hope this isn't some sort of sex dungeon. I hear things moving around in the darkness. I'm I'm gonna leave now. This is not good. <laughs> I feel more in danger here than I did in that bloody Borgen and Burke place. Oh my god. How many bloody imps are in this place? And look, they're rolling barrels and shit. What is going on? Oh sh oh crap, stay away from them. I don't know what to do with them. Oh, this crazy music again! Ah, I see. Right, we'll grab one of them. No. You bastard! He bit me! Bastard bit me! You're going in that cage, mate. Whether you like it or not. There you go. And another one. Yeah, let's, let's clear out this place then. There's enough cages. Stand still. In you go. How do they get out? I mean... A rimp's just really cunning and... I mean, they don't seem to be able to get out of the cage now. Maybe I'm thinking too much about it. How do we get that without killing ourselves? Oh, quite easily. <laughs> Eight. Whoa. Two more and we get, what, more stamina, was it? I don't know. Oh, we can crawl through. Um, is there anything here? Oh, a chest, wow. Yes! Nearly there, guys! Nearly there. Right, so... I mean, we're gonna have to avoid those barrels. I don't think there's anything else to do. Okay, wish me luck, guys. Whoa! Oh my god, camera! Camera, 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 what are you doing? That made that about a million times more difficult. <laughs> this, ah, yeah, I wonder if there's anything hidden. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if I've missed some things. So I didn't use the Lumos spell. Oh my god. Oh my god! Well, it's a good job we, uh... 
We got everything we could back there, I think. This place looks bloody dangerous. There's some green shit down there. Is that more flubber mucus? Let's push this off the edge. Now we should be able to get down safely without breaking our legs. But he fucking jumped over it anyway. Alright, where are we going to push this? Over there. Pretty simple stuff so far, guys. Not gonna, not gonna lie, it's not too taxing on the old uh, cranium. something, because it was a bloody dead end. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's this. Oh, it's a spello tape. So there was a point to going down there after all. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I totally would have to spend most of my days in this pub. Hey, Hagrid. I saw Mrs. Weasley looking for you. Hope you ain't been creeping round that nocturne alley. Terrible place. You best stay away. <sighs> yeah, totally haven't been there, Hagrid. You know me. Always want to follow the rules. Never do anything bad. Alright, that's locked. I would talk to these people, but I doubt they have anything interesting to say. Well, I might be wrong. Ever read Gadding with Ghouls by Gilderoy Lockhart, Mr. Potter? It's a cracking good read. Mm hmm. I'm sure he's a wonderful author. You have a very nice hat, sir. Do you remember me from the last time you were in the Leaky Cauldron, Mr. Potter? Daedalus Diggle at your service. Nice name. I don't actually remember you at all, even from the books. Uh, right. Okay, we've got what we needed. Can we get another uh, butter beer, please? The Leaky Cauldron Cellar is a great place to explore, Mr. Potter. <laughs> that is such a creepy thing to say to a little kid as he walks into your uh, your public house. Shit, I didn't get that coin, did I? Fuck. No, go back. Ah, oh, Bloody hell. There's a sickle in there. And I'm going to get it. I... Well, hopefully there is anyway. There should be. Bloody long loading times. Go back. Hmm. Right. Yeah, it's still there, but how do you get it without falling down the... Maybe you won't fall down there now. Maybe we won't fall down... I hope not. Thank God. <laughs> right. Okay. Got nine sickles. That will do me. Very nice. Well, guys, uh, I don't think I can record for very long tonight, so I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Next time, we'll get the rest of Ginny's supplies and buy ourselves a potion vial before, I assume, heading to... Uh, to platform nine and three quarters. So, hope you've enjoyed this. I am definitely, definitely having some fun with this, because, like I say, it's been so long since I played it. Uh, I just, oh, it's, it's so much fun. It's so good. <laughs>